Martin and welcome to another great edition for Astronomy for Beginners. And today I'm going to do a product review on uh, this cool little item here. Now this is a uh, universal boiler lens and I purchased this online at a great price of £13.99p. Now the reason why I'm doing a, a review on this particular barlow is that there are loads of bargains and accessories you can get for your telescope online All right, and as, as you can see you can buy a lot of decent stuff and you can buy a lot of cheap rubbish online uh, so a lot of these accessories especially optical accessories like your eyepieces, mirror diagonals filters, barlow lenses, you name it there are tons of accessories out there online and they're all varying price and different quality however it can be very distorting to the beginners amongst you uh, you can pay on a lot of accessories and waste a lot of money now the reason why I'm doing the review on this is it's so universal there are so many applications you can use on this Barlow lens. Now the purpose of a Barlow lens is to increase the focal length of your telescope and what that effect does to the telescope is it doubles the magnification uh, if with your given eyepiece or, or camera fitted onto there. And that's the whole purpose of the Barlow is to increase the focal length of the telescope and uh, making your know, images or look at the moon and the planets for example seem a lot closer again you get different grades of bar lenses from two times bar low lenses all the way up to five times bar low lenses however uh, there are different grades of bar lenses which if you look at my last video uh, at the top at the link at the top here I illustrated different types of bar low lenses so I'm not going to go too deep in depth on ball lenses itself. However, what I will be doing, we're going to have, take a closer look on this barlow that I've got online from Amazon, and I'm going to show you all the features of this barlow lens. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a closer look from here. So here is the ball lens that I got. I got it from Solar Mark through Amazon. As you can see, £13.99. First good point already, it comes with a very uh, good plastic box. Okay, uh, well packaged, as you see there. Alright, already got two dust caps. Alright, either side. Uh, as you can see, as we take a closer look, as you can just see here, uh, very good optics there uh, the, it looks like a an acromat two lens element okay with a deep multi uh, transmission coating to eliminate any lens flare or glare within the optical tray so already a full metal construction which is always good to see it has a removable lens element okay darkened threads okay to eliminate internal reflections and stray light you can screw on inch and a quarter filters on there this will alone will act like an extension tube so you can attach your camera on there without the, the, the without the two times bar lower and give you a magnification effect so this will in theory act as a, a DSLR uh, camera adapter in a way However, we're just going to screw uh, the lens element back and put it to a barlow lens. Okay, so there's two different applications there already. So uh, one is you can put your eyepieces in there and just use the barlow alone, okay, using the normal way. Or if you want to attach the camera, you're going to require one of these. So we have our main camera, all right, and as you can see, you're going to require a t-ring adapter okay ideally suited for the 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 camera all right there's different makes for a t-ring adapter so make sure you order online i do have a link for a t-ring adapter if you want to order one you can order one for literally as 
as much as five, maybe ten pounds at the most for this T-ring adapter. And all it does, it enables you to connect onto your camera body and using the Barlow lens, all right, you screw on the ball lens like so all right and then you can now attach the the camera and the ball lens onto the telescope so that's there is some there is quite a few uses there for a budget ball lens all right quite impressive really so just bear in mind when you use this kind of ball lens when you're doubling up the power of the telescope you need to make sure that your ISO settings are increased or your exposure times are increased or increased slightly okay you will lose a little bit of light through this ball lens all right and particularly when you're using high powers on a telescope so the good thing about this ball lens it's, it's good for imaging the moon doing close-ups of the moon for example see all the, uh, the craters and the mountains and the valleys of of the moon and also the ball lens will help to boost the image scale on planets because pa planets appear very very small uh, on the image so what the baller does is enables you to increase the image scale slightly so that you get a, a bigger disk on the Jupiter for example or you can see uh, and just increase uh, that image scale just a little bit more all right Bear in mind when you're using magnification, particularly high powers, it will still give you the blurring effect if you still if you use too much magnification. So again, there is a set boundary, and again, same with eyepieces, only use the 50 times per inch of aperture. That is uh, the good rule of thumb. Anything higher than that, if you start boosting your, for example, if you have a if you have a three inch refractor for example all right the most you can get out of it is 150 times if you start boosting up power all right you're going to lose a bit on detail resolution and the sharpness of the image might be blurry and dim so just be careful when you use it with eyepieces but with the camera you can compensate it by increasing the exposure and the gain on this camera or the exposure time or the ISO speed all right, to compensate for the loss uh, of the light loss so you can get ways around it but it does affect the image quality as well so what we're going to do is now we've had a close look on this bottle lens all right we're going to have a, a we're going to take a close look on attaching uh, this setup onto a telescope to use the two times Barlow lens. Now if you own a refractor like this one, for example, this is a 102 millimeter refractor. Now the main problem about refractors is if you're going to use a Barlow lens, it really depends on the focal length and the design of the refractor. This is not a guarantee this will probably work, but usually when you're using the, uh, the Barlow lens, okay, we use the Barlow lens and the camera, usually 9 times 10 is that when you slot the ball in there okay clamp it on the screw usually that should just work by when you focus the image and you get the image on the camera itself however on this particular brand and some other brands as well other telescope brands the Skywatcher uh, you go to enable this to go into focus properly you're going to need an extension tube something like this in particular this will just slot in place there okay and then slot in there right this is like a two inch extension all right now you've got to have that uh, so you get you can achieve your focus so this ball lens despite fitting on this DSLR camera all right it's not going to focus at all on this particular telescope so you need like a two inch extension so that you can achieve that perfect focus however if you have a mirroring diagonal if you take that camera apart take the inch and a quarter adapter apart 
Now usually if you've got an inch and a quarter mirror you don't need to take any parts out but I've got a two inch mirror okay I put in the two inch mirror here and we're going to slot the ball and the camera lens like so okay that in theory what we've just what I've just done now is that is still like an extension tube okay so the two inch diagonal or inch and a quarter mirror is acting like a two inch extension okay so then I can achieve focus properly uh, that's the only way you can achieve focus using that two inch bottle lens with this type of telescope bear in mind not all refractors have that problem but it really depends on what model of uh, refractor you own. So this is the way to do it. If you've got, if you've got an inch and a quarter or two inch mirror diagonal, you can achieve focus with this refractor. So again, I had loads of people asking me these questions. They bought a two times Barlow and for some reason doesn't work for their telescope. This is the one way to cure that problem so that your images will be fully focused. Now if you've got a Newtonian reflector there is no requirement for two inch, uh, two inch extension pieces okay on those particular models alright that, that works opposite okay and what we're going to do now is we're going to take a closer look on a live image of the moon to, uh, just to show you the quality of the actual solar mount ball lens and as we can see through the camera you get to see uh, the, the type of image quality that you get so when we take a closer look at the images uh, you can see for yourself we're going to do a video image and a stacked image uh, through the camera and see what yeah, you think. ISO 200 uh, we really up the exposure we're properly focused and let double the magnification so we've got some really good detail there yeah, very good detail on the lunar surface and uh, surprisingly the Barlow has helped to manage the uh, some of the glow that you get the, the purple halo so I'm really quite impressed with the results so far very steady night so I reckon you get some good detail on that so there you have it. As you can see for the images and the live view for the camera, the Barlow lens being very, you know, being a budget Barlow lens, that is really good quality. Right? And I'm not just saying that just to try and sell the product because I, I bought this product myself. With sharing my experiences with that Barlow lens, you know, it's quite a good uh, quality Barlow lens. Now it is a good accessory to have. All right, particularly if you've got a beginner telescope and you have a few eyepieces, the ball lens is very effective on doubling uh, varying other modifications. All right, so you get a wide range. So if you have uh, two eyepieces, for example, you will have four ranges of magnification. Okay, so that's the good thing about this particular ball is one you can attach a camera to it. It can also act as an extension tube for the camera as well, so you don't have to have a, a, a two times Barlow. You can fit uh, filters onto the Barlow, but again, if you're using that, you've got to take the, the lens element. So, again, it's got a good lens element, as you can see with the images there. Really impressive results. There, there is a few flaws with it, so I would like to have seen a brass ring and an extra clamping screw on there just to give a bit more security if you're using eyepieces. However, I'm just using it purely for uh, using it with my camera, okay? So it's a very good Barlow for that, all right? To attaching a, a camera on there. So again, keeping costs low as well, uh, I think it's a very good Barlow for its price, all right? There aren't many Barlows at this price range that offer so much for quite considerable amount so, right, so you are paying for quality this has got reasonable amount of quality and for the price 
being quite low, it's really good. So, like you say, there are different, different brands. So, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Highly recommend it. Particularly for the absolute beginners amongst us who just started out astronomy. If you want to find a great way of attaching your camera onto your telescope and you want uh, zoomed in uh, images of the planets and the moon, definitely get this kind of bottle. Again, this bottle can be used for visual, so you can use it with your existing eyepieces. And uh, very, very good bottle for the price. All right, it does have one or two flaws, but apart from that, I can't really grumble. So again, at the moment, they have sold out of these now. That's how good the bar is. And at the moment I've checked out on Amazon, it's getting a five star rating. And I can see why. And the image quality and so much it has to offer, it's no wonder why it gets a five star rating. I've notified uh, the, the company, hopefully they get back to me to say when they're gonna be available. Because again, they've completely sold out over Christmas. All right, so at the moment, the link is there, uh, if you check the links there below on the Amazon page, it's still there. However, there is a link to the actual company themselves. Check them out below there, the Solomon Corp company. Again, you can pick up this Barlow in, in the US for about $18, which is not much at all really. But you get a lot for your money. So $18, it's pretty good. So there's a link to the Solar Mark page, all right, you'll be able to purchase this wonderful budget two times bottle lens. And definitely I would recommend uh, buying this, particularly for beginners amongst us. So again, if you like watching my videos, hit the like button, okay. Also we're available on the Facebook group, Astronomy for Beginners. Again, the link's below for that, all right, and again, Please look forward to uh, some new video guys coming soon. All right, and if you do like my videos or you do like watching this video, please subscribe onto my channel. So hit the subscribe button there and activate all your notifications. All right, by clicking the, the bell in the corner, okay, of the subscribe button. Again, we'll keep you updated on the latest uh, uh, videos coming soon. So again, thanks again. Thanks for watching. I'm clear skies to you all.